but they've been um every time I go live it'd be on private so let me go see Yeah, I think they got me on private still. Let me go, um, let me go check it. Let me go check it inside my, um, settings. this shit. I have no fucking idea what's going on. I'm trying to see the settings right now. We're going to get it right in this episode, and then it won't happen again. Okay, I think I got my um, stream to go public, man. They been um, putting my streams on private for the longest, man. So let's see. I think I got the stream to go public. I'm not sure. I haven't received a notification myself yet. I know I'm having a super bad hair day, y'all. But we finna, we finna build like old times. And I got some shit to say. There it go. There it go. It's 
So can you see me right now? Oh, I got that ugly face on my my face. I just woke up, y'all. So bear with me. So can you see me right now? Oh, I got that ugly face on my oh wow. My face. I just woke up, y'all. So bear with me. Figured this shit out, man. Um. Bro, I just want to say peace and what up, everybody. Um, they've been um, they've been fucking over me big time, man. Like no, no cap. Let me see, can I change the title to it? Um, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I got it going. They ain't been putting my live streams. I've been going live, you all, and um, they've been unpublished. You know what I'm saying? My live streams been set at private for some reason, but let's. Okay, now let me save. Okay, I haven't figured it out, man. This stream yard. Oh, look, this Streamlabs app is kind of hard. Let me see. Damn, my authentication request. Let me see. I'm figuring this shit out, y'all. So bear with me. I'm trying to get a. Um, I don't know if anybody jumped in the chat. Yeah, I'm not inside the um, stream right now. I'm trying to change the title, man. It's been hard for me to. Um, will be streaming now from this channel. Uh, okay, let me do this video. Okay. Okay. Finally figured out how to come be up. Wanna listen. Okay now. Okay now. Okay now. We got it, y'all. Okay now. So we're gonna do it like that there. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it like that there. Okay. Now it's gonna be kind of weird because I can't see the stream, but I didn't. I got the shit figured out now. I got the shit figured out now. Um. I just want to say a couple things, right? I'm not going to be on here long at all. I'm not going to be on here long at all, you all. This is what I want to say. I find it curious. I really find an atrocity to the most high. I find it an atrocity to the most high that... Israelite, Nation of Islam, Muslim, Muslim, uh, these different tribes that are springing up, Carbon Nation, um, these other people, Young Pharaoh's community, I find it really strange. So-called black people can go from literally having no statistics, no, no confirmed cases. Like, we had no confirmed cases. I've been keeping watch. I've been keeping watch, y'all. In every state around the United States. Now, I find that weird. I find that weird. I find that troubling. And if what I think is going on is going on, it's an atrocity to the most high. It's just period. If what I think is going on is going on, it's an atrocity to the most high, period. Okay, I'm not going to state what I think is going on. Y'all know they're shutting down my main channel, which is IMU Indian. They're shutting me down over there. So I'm going to censor myself on this channel. I have 30 days left on my Indigenous Realist channel. I have 30 days left, you all. And it, it is finished. I have all my videos downloaded already. Um, 
I got 460 something videos on my main channel. I have them all downloaded, you all. So I'll just make a new channel and just put it up for the archers. Because look, this is one thing, two things for sure. I don't mean for me. Like, I'm, I'm going to just be quiet for a second and let y'all hear. Just hear, your, hear what's my surroundings. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but there's birds chirping. You hear the squirrels, you hear the animals. Like, I know I'm there's a bird nest right above my head, actually. When have you ever known birds to put them their nest right above humans' heads? Like this is a porch. There's a bird nest right above my head. Now I'm actually just waking up, you all. I was just in a sister, um, Empress Isha's um, chat. Check out. She's, I posted her in my community section on my um, Indigenous Realist channel. Check the sister out. Very good information. What up, peace, y'all. I can't, um, I actually can't see the chat. I seen somebody was in here. I can't, I can't see the chat. And um, this one I'm going to say, that no, no cap. I know I'm having a really bad hair day, you all. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm finna cut it. I'm finna cut it off. Bear with me. Y'all, bear with me. Now, um, yes, you know what the media identifies us as. Matter of fact, this is going to be a call for unity. If y'all notice, look, and let's be plain, you all, because if, if I was to die, if I was to die, I wouldn't want half of me to be shown. Y'all know I've since I've been on YouTube, I've represented Noble Drew Ali fiercely. But in all actuality, I've really forgot my own divine and fig tree. Because my wife can tell you, I've always I've always been a more. According to the teachings of Noble Drew Ali, I've always been a more. What I, what I didn't do. Temple of been. I'm not a member of any Moorish organization, nor have I ever been. I just sincerely love the teachings of Noble Drew Ali, but I also love the teachings of Master Farrar Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad, Minister Louis Farrakhan, and others. Do you hear me? So, like, so according to the, this is what I mean. When I say I am a more, and then I add on as a disclaimer, according to the teachings of Noble Dry Lee, I mean it in every sense of the word, because he was a master teacher, so his lessons were perfect. When he presented them, they were perfect. But in the wisdom lessons of, in the lost and found Muslim lessons of the Nation of Islam, I would be an Asiatic black man. So I can also say I am an Asiatic black man according to the teaching. I am a God according to the teachings of Clarence 13 and X aka Father Allah. See, when you pass through the degrees, it doesn't change you. And that's where our people, that's where our people get it so mixed up at. We think in order to receive information, we have to join a group. In order to receive information, we have to submit to someone. I submit to no one or nothing but the most higher power, which is the creator of all. Like, period. That's the whole point of me screaming in everybody chat, on everybody platform, in my own platforms. Hey, 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 power. 
That's just my way of saying all praises be to the most high God. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm coming through everywhere I go. If I'm in the store, I'm high your power. Because I'm saying all glory to the most high God, which is Yah. Period. 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 Now, like it's really crazy, right? Okay, let me keep going. This is a call for unity. Why, really? Why call for you unity, I am you Indian? Why do you think I changed my name to I am you Indian? Every time I change my name, it has a significance. When I came back on YouTube, I told you all I was the embodiment of Dr. Saban. Period. Because that's what the most high put on my heart and in my mind. The most high put on my heart and my mind and he rewarded me for that. When I came in the embodiment and the personage of Dr. Sabi, you all, for the, what, 90 days? I stayed on here 90 days in the personage, in the personage, per, in the personage and embodiment of Dr. Sabi. And I was disrespected, harassed, humiliated, and laughed at. And now look at this crown virus and we'll know that Dr. Sabi is is needed and his information is needed. But you know, it's 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 up. But I'm a channeler. Let me say this and I'm gonna get back to the unity thing. I'm a channeler. I don't know if y'all know what channeler means, but and it has nothing to do it has nothing to do with a damn YouTube channel. But I told y'all once before, like it's just crazy. It's just crazy, y'all. Um, we got to wake the fuck up. Like, people is really asleep. Like, I called my big brother, Chief Holiday, last night, and we went down through there. And it's like, boom, the most high. Sent him in that brief moment. That was too much already, and that was enough. And the most high was saying, hey, y'all conversation was secret. Like, I have no doubt in my mind that no government agency heard I, me and Chief Holiday phone call last night. That was a problem. No other way we both get a phone call at the exact same time letting us know that our protection limit on that phone was done. Like, people, bro, you got to know. All right, let me, let me build on this. Superstition. Superstition. Indian concept. Superstition is an Indian concept. And the reason why I say that, the reason why I say that is we, remember, I am you. I am you, Indian. Like, we are the original master storytellers. Y'all see it time and time. See, when I when I came in the personage of Heyoka Empath, when, when I received full awakening, full enlightenment as a Heyoka Empath, nobody embraced me. Like, this is the thing. This is the problem with people these days. And honestly, honestly, like, I, I, I received, like, a download the other day, and the Most High said, fuck them. Like, you know, it may not be his words, but in my in my translation of the word, it said, fuck the naysayers. He said, fuck the naysayers. Fuck those that don't believe. Fuck those that don't accept the truth. You are the truth. I am the truth. We don't care who doesn't believe. Your message is going to go to those that it's for. That's what the Most High tells me. He tells me, fuck my main channel. Yeah, they shut me down. I had 6,000 subscribers. 10,000 be received by those is for. Period. All right, when I present myself, and remember, I'm keeping track of every line of conversation I say at all times, you all. So I'm getting back. Anything that I'm leaving off, I'm going to get right back to it. And I'm looking at this Anchor app, and I'm wondering, could I, could I do my podcast at the same time? 
Let, I really want to see. Let me see. Or is it going to mess up um, my stream? So let me let me try to see. Can I go ahead and podcast? Let's hit them double time. Let's hit them double time off the Android phone. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't even been paying attention to my podcast, y'all. My podcast been growing. Shout out to the people that's been listening while I wasn't there. I love you all. Okay, okay, I can't, I can't, um, but I got a trick for them. I know how to download my own stream. I can download my own stream and um, as an MP3 and just upload it as an audio because people are listening. That's what I'm saying. In this day and age, like I checked, I checked someone in the chat, even though it wasn't my platform, I still stand for what I stand for. I still rock how I rock. I still rip truth how truth. Half these dudes on the internet, y'all, are not real men. Let me say this again. Half these, and remember, I'm not going to lose the train of thought, and you'll see it. You'll see it during this show that I'm going to come back and touch on everything I briefed on. And I have no notes or nothing. It's just me. I'm just sitting outside. It's just me. I am you. Men. These aren't men. I mean, let me let me tell you why I say this, and I mean it in the most disrespectful, respectful. Peace, for real, for real. This is I am you Indian. If you don't know the main channel, it's I am you Indian. If it's possible, share. But I'm gonna be uploading it to my main channel. We're not doing this for views. No one allows me onto their platform nowadays. No one allows me onto their platform, y'all. That I'm being systematically shut down also on my main channel. No one allows me on their platform nowadays, but I have my own platforms. I have I have five channels. I have five channels. And I'm gonna get back to the channeling topic too. But check this out. Boy, I know the make of a slave. I know the making of a Negro, but I also know the making of an Indian. I also know the making of a Moor, the making of a Egyptian, the making of uh, all these different things. Like I, I get it, I understand it. But in the process of building these brothers up, you forgot to look. All right, in masonry, right? You had different tools along your belt, right? And those tools all have a spiritual aspect. Remember masonry, I've been telling you all that masonry is about the temple inside of man. That's where you house the most high at. So you gotta keep, keep your temple clean. Remember the temple. Remember David kept on trying to build the temple. David kept on trying to build the temple, you all. He kept on trying to build the temple. It never got built. Solomon's temple, it, it never got built, it never got completed. Why? Because the temple was inside man the whole time. The temple was inside man the whole time, but I'll get back to that. I'll get back to the temple inside man also. But this is, it is important. You can't build something up without destroying something. That's why the lost and found mud tribe is different. I know my ancestors, I know that we come from tribes, but I also know that these tribes have been infiltrated. And so therefore I stood up as a chief and we have over 200 active members and we will be on, I can't speak like that on my channel, but um, just know the LFTON. are a Masonic right in ourselves. We are a Masonic right in ourselves because that's it takes masonry to build these men up. These men are really women. I'm telling you, they're putting so much estrogen. They're putting so much um, hormones, different types of hormones inside the food that these men that y'all think are men are actually women. I know this is going to sound crazy. All right. I don't know if y'all caught the stream on my main channel. I'm going to restream this sister over here on my channel. But my aunt, um, Washita Moore Empress, um, 
I streamed her. You know, I'm Washita, I'm Washita, Yamasee, Choctaw, um, Cherokee, you know what I'm saying, et cetera, and so forth. You know what I'm saying? All perfectly formed in one man. Like, I represent all the generations of my tribes right here in one. And I am chief. I am chief. And, um, but the sister said, she, she said like this, she said, man, women are men with a womb. And that's profound. That's a profound statement. Why is that statement so profound? Basically, for, for those of y'all, the young ones that'll see this video, profound means deep. That's deep. <laughs> but, you know, a conscious, you know, everybody want to be conscious, but they ain't, they don't know how to be conscious, y'all. And they won't humble themselves. But we're finna get into that, the lack of humbleness, the lack of meekness, the lack of respect that these so-called men have. I'm not going to get on the sisters. Because it's the men fault. And that's what these niggas look. If I have if I have five thousand six hundred subscribers on my channel right now, or however many I got five thousand eight hundred, five thousand seven hundred, however many subscribers I have on my channel right now, on my main channel. I had like two hundred on the a hundred and something on this channel. It's just new. But um they're they're coming. But all of my subscribers are mostly women. And these niggas on the internet hate the fact that these women flock to me. Even when I was in a full-fledged relationship, these sisters loved me. Why? Because I am an alpha male. I am an alpha male. People... And I'm going to get back to the topic of these... No, it's all, it's all in important. My sign language, or is it really called the silent language? That my aunt spoke of last night. It's really the silent language. But we call it sign language. But you know one hand is enough. But. I, I messed myself up. When I said. When I um, got to talk about sign language. Because my brain is so. Y'all I got so much information. That my brain be ready to pop. Trying to keep it in. When I'm trying to stick to a certain topic, so I'm just gonna let it out in any way I see fit. Let's get back to these. Um, okay, I said, do you if you see an Arab? Okay, when you see an Arab man, right? They come there when. So you know, there's no homosexuality. Maybe in the closed, maybe in the dark, there's homosexuality in the Arab nations. But homosexuality is actually something of the European nation and that they brought over here to America, making this a modern Sodom and Gomorrah or a... Uh... Anyway, y'all, let's not even think about it. Oh, Babylon or modern day Babylon. America is Babylon. America is Babylon. Where does Babylon come from? The Tower of Babel. What was the Tower of Babel? A place where all people from all parts of the world met up in trying to speak the same like America is Babylon. I mean, America is Babylon. Babylon comes from the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel was when they all met up. Look, Trump Tower. World Trade Center, one World Trade Center. Now, let me let me get back to the bill because I'm telling you, my mind is beautiful. I see beautiful minds around me not getting. If I, if I flip my switch, remember I told you all that I'm no longer just. I'm not gonna build on it because it's just like. If I flip my switch, while well, I can do what's necessary for the people, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not egotistical, I'm not narcissistic, and it's so hard for me to contain that side of me because we all have it in us. I am an empath, but I do have the narcissistic traits, but I keep them suppressed. I keep them suppressed because... Let's just, let's just talk about it. Um, let's get back to the... Um... Let's get back to the subject at hand. When you, if you see an Arab, 
they don't seem threatening. They don't have a mean mug on their face. When you see an Arab, they're not mean mugging you. They ain't toting guns. They ain't trying to argue with you. They don't do no arguing. But we know they're going to kill. We know they'll die instantly right there. They will die with no hesitation for their God. They will die with no hesitation for their respect. They will die with no hesitation for what they believe in. You get what I'm saying? But when you meet an Arab, all right, let me show you something. In Western traditions, look, in, say, West Americas, North, South, and Central Americas. Now, in the invader culture, in the invader culture of masonry, we can show. Form of masonry, the grip is barely touched because it's just an exchange of energy. See, the European can never understand what it is to be an empath, they can never understand what it is to exchange energy with someone to actually feel their life source. When you touch somebody's hand, you feel their life source. So the reason why the Masonic grip or the grip of the white man is what I'll call it. The grip of the pale face. The grip of the pale face is so tight because he's trying to dominate your energy. He's trying to dominate your energy. The only difference is he knows what he's doing and you don't. So no matter how hard you squeeze back with a Mason or someone who, who, who knows about this energetic um, this energetic level of power we have and that can be stripped from us no matter how hard you grip back Masonic grip this is what it means to be a man but now nah, when somebody's gripping your hand hard they're stealing your energy or they're pressing their dominance on your energy and therefore you are humble in their presence. That's why fathers do it to their daughter's boyfriends. They grip the hand hard to let them know like, hey, you feel my presence, young man. Have my daughter back at this time. How are you doing, young man? They letting you know that we do it unconsciously. Everything that the so-called black man does it's unconsciously. We do the things we do unconsciously, but it's still been done. No matter if you don't want to acknowledge. See, this is the difference from back in the day. Groups like the Nation of Islam sprung forth because black men were real men back in the day. Black men aren't real black men anymore, you are. Black men aren't real black men anymore. Let me, I'm finna get back onto that, but let me, let me say this. Let me say this. Now, the crazy part, right? Okay, I was talking about the grip. Now I gave y'all the knowledge of why they grip. But see, a real man, when you shaking hair, I don't know if y'all have ever talking about because I don't just speak I don't just watch a video from experience the grip is like this you all I feel it I feel it like this when I do it myself I feel energy exchanging because it's just a light grip you all it's just a light hand press you all it's just a light hand press you all exchange of energy you send calm to your brother. You send peace to your brother. You send healing to your brother. You send spiritual and energetic energy to your brother. You don't, you don't try to dominate your brother's presence. And that's the difference. In Western culture, you have to prove. You have to dominate someone's presence. And that's what it is. That's where the feminines came in at. See, there's a difference. When people say I'm feminine, it's because I'm an alpha male. It's because I don't have to try to dominate you. I will kick your head off, literally. Like, I will punch a male 
all the way down. Literally. Like I am a knockout artist. I am a trained. I can't mention anything about anything. But y'all like. This is the difference. I'm humble because I respect life. I respect life. I respect nature. I respect myself. Now. I was talking about these men right. Not to down them. But just to wake these niggas the fuck up. Please. Wake the fuck up. Please. Please. I mentioned that my aunt in that video. Our men with a wound. Okay, through that portal. Through that. Through that dark tunnel. That is the only way life can come into existence throughout the world. Right? That's the only way life can come existence throughout the world. Now. Um, and I just feel the energy, y'all. Like, you better wake up. We are empaths, you all. And I mean, I wouldn't be steady telling you all this. No one say, man, the mud tribe on the rise, y'all. Like, don't be left behind. Like, for real, for real. LFTOM to the death, y'all. Don't be left behind, y'all. Wake the fuck up. We intellectuals. It ain't about being militant. It's more than just being militant, but we are militant. Like, but it's more to it than that, you all. It's way more to it than that. It's about unity and it's about higher consciousness, y'all. It's about being an intellectual and, and someone, y'all. Like, if we were all to die, you know you can't kill us all off. But we have to spread the information so thoroughly that someone can be a keeper of the light. Someone can revitalize our conscious thinking after shit goes down that's that's why i'm for the best of the best only the best of the best can reach out to me only the best of the best can reach out to me all the rest aren't humble now when i say these men are not men that they are really women in disguise i mean the fact that right I used to raise roosters and um, of course to breed roosters you have to have chickens so I studied the chickens I studied the rooster I know the components I know the um, the breeding rate I know the lifetime rate I know how many eggs a, a chicken is supposed to have I know how a rooster gets a chicken pregnant I won't speak on that here but it's crazy it's not how you think and um, it's crazy it's not how you think anyway but um, I promise it's not how you think but anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I bring that up. But um, back to script. All I'm going to is this on the tip. Little bitty chicklets fresh out the egg, you all. Injecting them with large amounts of hormones. And making these chickens from little bitty in a month. They go from little bitty chicklets to full grown Tyson chicken with them chickens in a month now for that to be possible right how much do you think chicken you know nigga loves you know folks love chicken promoted that shit not black folks but we promoting that shit after we had that nig that nigris nigro riss um uh the lady on the K what what commercial? I don't know. I don't. But churches. I mean, these different ancient mama. Uh, these different uh, mammies. These different mammies that hop on, hop on these brands, and these different mammies that hop on these brands and attempt to promote, attempt to promote this foreign culture and this foreign diet. Now, you can say, man, niggas been eating chicken. I'm not talking about that. When I say a foreign diet, I mean we never ate genetically modified organisms. So you can cut out the whole, this is our diet, and that ain't our diet because it's been tampered with, period. And shout out, um, may he live forever. Shout out to them. And if y'all don't know who them is, that's the Honorable Elijah Muhammad because he brung us how to eat to live part one and part two and 
and he broke it down that he didn't have to say the food was GMOs. He just said, don't eat the shit. He said, don't eat it. He said, stick to your vegetables, stick to your beans, eat one time a day. Then we get doctor, I'm telling you. The legendary Dr. Sabi, may they both live any pathogen, any contagion, any dis-ease. Remember, D-I-S, ease, any dis-ease. This is showing that it's in opposition to the ease. Ease is something done easily. You know what I'm saying? So with this ease, is oppositional to being easy or ordinary. So this is something taking you out of balance. And remember, I dropped podcasts about checks and balances and stuff. No one listens. Like, no one wants real knowledge anymore. And I'm going to get back to these men. But no one wants real knowledge anymore, you all. Like, what the fuck is wrong with our people? Like, what the... When I my height on my... It needed to be saved. That's what I'm saying. Like, because I didn't, because I didn't, now I understand. I'm not going to mention names, but now I understand when people say, I brainwash my community. Or, or because you must be washed. Like, for real, you got the fucking, man, you got the master still inside your brain. You still, like, people claim, like, certain things. Man, y'all niggas ain't woke. You niggas just sleep, big sleep. I begged y'all to come on, man. I begged y'all to come build with me, man. I, I welcomed y'all. I told y'all I'm going a, I'm to a make a place. I say come build a place where your generations and generations and generations of your family will be safe and they'll never experience homelessness. And y'all said fuck realists. Y'all said fuck you, bro. You trying to put us in mud huts. I'll never forget, fam. I'll never forget. And then look what's going on in the world today. I'll never forget how y'all 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 censored the message to the people, y'all. It was a clear call from the most high, you are. Like it's people that haven't listen, generational wealth is hard to come by and it, it shit is dead now. It is finished. It is done. Like when when my brother Issa died on the on the tree, the so called cross, he said, It is finished. That means it was done. Y'all, the shit is finished. Y'all don't got generational wealth in your family and you never will. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is the Clone Wars. Y'all think this is a joke? This is the Clone Wars. This is the clones, y'all. I'm saying crazy, but I got clones. And I'll explain that. So if you want to hear how I got clones, and in the literal sense, not in the make-believe sense, not in the spiritual sense, I have clones. I have clones. And this is a clone war. And about family, I'm going to go back to these men, but I don't, I don't like to dwell on any negative topic for long. So let me build on why I say that if you don't have generational wealth in your family, it's dead. It's finished. You won't never have it. The game is set up. It's Monopoly. Y'all, they gave us the game Monopoly and we didn't see clearly. Like, we didn't want to see clearly. We didn't open up our eyes, y'all. We ignored the fact. We, I don't know if there's anybody in my stream, y'all. Like, I, I can't see anything. I'm just building. I really hope this stream is still going on. Matter of fact, let me check it. Because I'm just making a stream and I'm going to put it up on the other channel. And I'm also going to start putting it on my podcast. People have been messing with my podcast and I haven't even updated it. But I got a lot of stuff for them. Back to you, Empress Isha. Higher, higher, higher power. Listening, getting ready to head out. Indeed, sis. I love you so much, sis. Like, for real, sincerely, sis. Shout out to Empress Isha. I gave you a shout out. At the but um, I'm going to keep going. Possible for you in me to generate generational wealth in this day and age by ourselves, And I'm going to explain why. But first, let me say this. The game of Monopoly, the game of Monopoly was put out to show us the game of Monopoly really is the game of America. 
this is a monopoly. Look on the board. You got your apartment buildings. You got your houses. You got your real estate. You got your um, your Walmarts. You got your McDonald's. You got your y'all. They've came through and set up on our blocks. They came through and set up on our blocks, y'all. This is a monopoly. America is a monopoly. America is the modern day Babylon. This is the meeting place for all people in the world to come to under one language. That is Babylon in a literal sense. I don't know why other people call it Babylon, but from my inner and understanding, that is why I see it as Babylon because hell. We building stuff up as far as we can to the sky, trying to reach the most high or trying to compete with the most high, just like Nimrod did. Christmas comes from Nimrod. This, they have came over here and set up monopoly. We have been monopolized. Now, certain so-called black families back in the day also monopolized given opportunities after the after, um, black families certain black families you are and I'm not ashamed and I'm I'm not ashamed nor yeah I am proud of my family but I'm not ashamed at all in the fact that my family my family is one of the families that in 1865 during the Emancipation Proclamation Life, love, freedom, and liberty. We still look. But in the rap game, look, let me explain what a master. I don't mind calling, look, I don't mind calling the contract holder, our former contract holder, our ex. Someone owns a master over these young males vibes and vibrations, which we call music, which I call vibes and vibrations. The masters are owned by someone else, so therefore they have a master. That's a little deep, so I'm going to keep it going. Now, during that time from 1865 upwards... Certain black families, certain Indian families, shout out y'all, this is Black Indian Chief Channel. They are shutting me down on the Indigenous Realist Channel, that's my baby, like I love that channel, I created that channel not for revenue, I created that channel to leave a memory of myself for the world. I am a prophet of the Most High, Yah Power, which is the Most High, which can be seen as that Tetragrammaton, Yahweh, or can be seen as the Great God of as I lie, because in my eyes, in my understanding, my understanding to my vast research of every known religion on the face of this plane, we call higher power, higher, higher, higher power to infinity and beyond, and I love him, and he he taking care of me. I haven't touched money. I haven't touched money, none in 2020. They say the money dirty. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. They say the money dirty, y'all. And we know it's dirty. I haven't touched it. I haven't touched it none this year. They say it's dirty. Now check this out. <laughs> uh to realize that we were just enslaved two generations ago. Oh shit, I hope I didn't shut the stream down. My bad, my bad. I accidentally shut the stream down, I think. Is the stream shut down or is it still there? Freak, man. Oh, am I still alive? Somebody comment in the chat, let me know if I'm still alive. Am I still alive? Let me see. If I wave my hand, can I see myself waving my hand? Okay, okay, I think I'm still alive. I'm, I'm reading my lips. And the reason why... Okay, okay, cool. All right. You are, let me explain this because, you know, people are so foolish these days. The reason why I move my hands so much and the reason why I speak in the way I speak... Do you get what I'm saying? I'm making it so that no one 
no one that speaks my language cannot understand what I'm saying. Like some people don't can't hear you all, but yet they still listen to indigenous realists, you all, because some vibes and vibrations from deaf people. I used to have a deaf girlfriend. I had a deaf cousin growing up. I know other deaf people. Matter of fact, I, I attended school with deaf people and I learned about vibes and vibrations and I knew that they could communicate without language. But anyway, y'all, that's just some old Indian stuff. A lot of people won't get that. Now, the generational wealth thing, and now I'm finna get back to the to the GMOs and the, the too many hormones. Let's stop calling it GMOs. Let's point out what the fuck is wrong. Yeah, there's a GMO. That's just saying genetic or the B word. I'm trying to watch my cousin. <laughs> these hormones, these genetically modified organisms. Okay, let's let's break it down. Genetically, and I'm gonna get back to the, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let me switch back to the problem with the men in our society right now as of today. And I mean it in the most humblest and respectfulest and disrespectfulest way because that's how the message gotta be brought. Let me get another smoke. No, I don't need a smoke. Now listen, and I'm finna end this stream in about in a little bit. I'm just going I'm just going with the vibe, y'all. I got we got plenty of time, so I can always make another stream. And I'ma upload it as a podcast. And I'm I, I need to be I ain't been pushing my podcast. I actually have two podcasts. All streams, you are. So, so anyway, I like. I don't know why I haven't been promoting it. It was just a dry waste of money. But um, oh yeah, it's not a waste of money because money doesn't mean anything. You all like money is unnecessary, and you're finna see that here in the coming days, here in 2020. Now, anyway, there's um, I'm gonna get back to my three points, and then I'm finna end this stream because um, you know. It's time is not time consuming. It's just like I want people to be able to get the message, and when they see an hour long video, they get lost. Now, um, when they don't know that they can just skip through any part of my videos and find some information. But let me get on this. When I say GMO, in this lecture, in this, y'all can really learn my sign language. Like I have my own sign language, but I didn't teach myself. You know what I'm saying? It comes from being a kid and watching my uncles and my grandfather and my mother. Like, even my mother talks with her hands. That's an Indian thing, you all. And there's power in that. I'm telling you, there's power in that. Now, I'll get back to that. It looks like I'm lagging. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, now, let me see. Let me get my angles right. Now. Oh, yeah, and it's really hard to balance this phone between my knees, and that's why also I'm fine. Genetically modified organisms by way of overdosing animals on hormones to make them grow faster. Now, I said you a little chiclet, not the candy. But a little chicklet, a little baby bird hatched fresh out of the egg, hatched fresh out of the egg, a little chicklet and grow a little of Tyson chicks. Jack with an dosage of hormones. Now, when that chicken is slaughtered, do you think, look, the birds. When that chicken is slaughtered, do you think that the hormones just evaporate? Do y'all think that the hormones just disappear? Like they just, there's no more hormones? No, those hormones are still usable. Like you could literally take the blood out of that chicken and inject it into another chicken and the hormones would still work. That's what people sleeping on. But instead of injecting it into another chicken, what are they doing? They're putting it in their Tyson chicken bag and bringing it, bringing it home to the family. I mean, they're putting it in your wall, in your Wally world. They're putting it in your Wally world, your martial law. They put it in your Wally world. They put it inside your, um, I don't know what grocery stores y'all have in places, but 
lot of people don't eat stuff because they say it's what? That's gross. But yet you shot from a grocery. Taco truck. A taco. Now, if you take out the taco, what is that? Just Ria. Or Re. Now, take supposed to be in there. We ain't supposed to be shopping out of there. We ain't supposed to be drinking out of there. We ain't supposed to be putting that shit in our baby's bodies, y'all. We got to wake the fuck up. We got to wake the fuck up, like, fast, y'all, because we're... It ain't too late. Like, I'm telling you, it's not too late. We still have time. Like, we still have time, you all. We still have time, y'all. It's not too late. But um, let me stick Let me stick to my, um, my points, and then I'm finna get up out of here. Okay. Genetically modified organisms. The hormones been injected. We built on that. The chicklets, full-grown Tyson chicken, less than 30 days, about 21 days. That is impossible, and that is an atrocity to the most high. That is an atrocity to the most high. God, which is Yah. Now, um, it's an atrocity, y'all. That's mutation. That's genetically Look at dog because of them eating these hormones. Y'all get it. Let's get off of that. Y'all get it. They're eating the same hormones that made this chicklet grow from a chicklet to a human being. Listen, y'all want to hear something that's crazy? Have y'all, anybody that's seeing this video or that will see it later on the IMU Indian channel, have y'all ever wondered why people live to be so old in the Bible yet people don't live to be that long nowadays? Why is that? And the reason being is your food. Our food is killing us at a younger age. Our food is making us age faster. It's making us grow faster. We aren't. <laughs> Listen, we are giants. Growth. We are giants. Like, we are giants, y'all. We are giants. We are giants, you all. Like, I'm not going to get on that. But the hormones are stopping the growth. It has a reverse effect. This is the same thing like working out. Y'all know I used to um, power lift. And... You don't go heavy all the time when, with weightlifting. I'm going I'm to start doing a workout show. Matter of fact, hell, I can go get my shoes and work out right now while I'm building. I'm going I'm to um, I'm come back in in a little bit and I'm going to do a workout show. Matter of fact, I'm going to start doing a um, workout exercise show every day for anybody that wants to work out with me. I'm going to jog. I'm going to jog. I'm going to go to the park, do pull-ups, um, dips, push-ups, sit-ups. Y'all can work out with me. I'm not, all right, I'm not going to do it because that's egotistical. I'm going to leave it out, but I was going to say, I'm going to leave it out completely. I don't have to do it. I'm not a narcissist. But just know, like, wake the fuck up, y'all. Like, wake the fuck up. But um, anyway, y'all y'all got to know who in front of y'all. That's all I'm going to say. Just know who the fuck I am. Just know who you are. And I am you. We are one. We are one, y'all. Like, we are connected. And that's why they got a social distancing. It's, it's crazy. Like, we give. Look. All right, we're going to stick to that for another show. I was going to break down how we're so worried about getting radiation from our phones, getting radiation from 5G towers. Nigga, Ro, you got all the energy in the universe inside of your body. They're sucking your energy out, they're not putting shit in you. It's a reverse effect. That's why they're putting it out. If it was... I don't want to get this channel taken down. They already took down my other channel, y'all. But I'm going to say this. If 5G...
you wouldn't see videos on YouTube about it. Let me say this again. About it. They would suppress that information. You would not get it to your mobile device. These men aren't real men, but they don't know it. See, I was always taught from a, and I am a poet. Now, I was always taught that being a male had more to do than having balance. A kid, I knew that I had a phallus because I was male. But see, you have twenties. You have men in their twenties, in their thirties, in in household. They're your brothers. They're your uncles. They're your fathers. They're your sons. They're your etc. They're your neighbors. They're your male men, etc. They feel because it's a European come men. Or become at least better males. I'm an alpha. At least they could be a Now, now, check this out. <laughs> I'm the truth in the light, y'all. And I'm, I'm not afraid to say it, y'all. I've been screaming it since I've been on YouTube. I'm the truth in the light. Now, check this out. I just never, I, and y'all ain't never heard me refer to myself as a prophet of the Most High until this year. I never knew it. Like, I never accepted it. My mother told me from from the young, or my earliest memory, I know for a fact my mother told me that you are not a boy, you are a man. There's three things my mother told me. Let me give y'all an example and just so you can see the difference of how I was brought up and I was raised by my mother, by the way. But I had a father in the house, but it wasn't my father. My dog, my father got smoked. They let him have it right there on the porch. Blam, dead. Now, um, he died. Compton. Look, you cannot, you cannot go to a new territory without. So I know why my father was sacrificed. Just like I know why this crown virus. Is hitting our elders just bear with me like bear with me and bear witness you know what I'm saying I know why this crown virus is hitting our elders is because in order for you to to subjugate the youth and to subjugate the land you have to come through and kill off the oldest Indians and that's facts y'all while my father was living, Compton, California was not Mexicans. Compton, California was all black people. As soon as my father died, now you got Compton, California is all Mexicans, y'all. He was the last elder of the community. If anybody... My chest, look. Old man. Old man. Like y'all, like just, if y'all are from California and you have older family members, ask some of he wasn't violent he wasn't a gangbanger or anything y'all but in order to make a social in order to make a, a social change off the old Indian, Indian and that's facts and um, I'm gonna start getting mama on here more because you know I'm gonna have to get rid of the older Indians in order to put put their lawlessness down in order to be lawless, they have to get rid of the older Indians. Um, okay, yeah, there's going to be a lot of lag and stuff. But um, when the actual video processes, there won't be no lag. I promise. Like, it's something about this app. Like, it's going to let me lag. But when it's processing the video, it's going um, to be straight. Now, let me get back to this. Yeah, there's a lot of lag, but this app gonna correct it. It's gonna correct it while it's processing, and then I'm gonna put it on the main channel, and it won't have no skip. But it, it, I like the glitches it does. Like it'll glitch, and I'll be in a different position. Like anyway, it's cool. It's cool. It looks like somebody else is filming. Like I like this app, but yeah, there is a bad signal where I'm at. Now check this out.
these men have an overload of hormones in their body. It's not their fault. It's their, it's their parents' fault. The reason why these men aren't men is not because there wasn't enough knowledge. The lack of knowledge from a father. A father doesn't have to be right there. A father doesn't have to be inside of the home. A father with right knowledge can lead from a thousand billion miles away. Now, the hormones are put in our food to suppress right knowledge, to suppress masculinity. And for those of us that grew up on the food, just think about it. Those of us that grew up on the food, but yet still show a high level of masculinity, a high level of masculinity, Okay, check me out. You see the feminines in these brothers. The ego. I'm going to end it. Hey, y'all, we're going to do a part two to this. I'm going to get on it later, but I'm, I'm really gone. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to in too deep, and I'll get on it later. Just know these niggas got to kill their egos. Until the ego is dead, until the ego is dead, it's going to be gone. Like, there will be no unity. Hey, if if there's no unity among our people, right? If, if, if we... After, after this global resurrection or insurrection, if we come out on the bottom instead of the top, the same ignorant... Let me say this. The same ignorant non-essential, non-important, lack of knowledge, lack of wisdom, lack of inner and over understanding. They don't even have understanding. They can't even stand under the information. These same Negroes are going to tell us, we always been at the bottom. That's why we're at the bottom. No matter what we would have done, we made all the right decisions, family. That's why we had to... You know, we, we ain't at the bottom bottom. You know, there's people upon us. I don't want to be at no part of the bottom. I don't want to be main, feminine, lack of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And understanding men are going to lead us to hell. And I mean hell on right here on earth, y'all. We can have heaven on earth, you all. I'm proclaiming, y'all, I'm shouting out to the end days, y'all, that this is the kingdom of the most high right here on earth, y'all, and we can't have heaven right here on earth. It's right here on earth, y'all, and that this this crown virus is allowing us to, it's a global, global reset of everything, y'all, and so so-called black people are supposed to be at the top after this is done, you all, I'm telling you. It's about the 24,000 year calendar. I'm going to come back in here later and build more. But it's about the 24,000 year calendar, you all. Cycle ages. Look up cycle ages. Look at cycles. Look at the 24,000 year calendar, etc. I'm going to make a website, you all. So I can just, when I refer to stuff, I can have y'all go to it. And um, whoever just popped in the chat, I'm going to re-upload re this video. It's buffering bad, but the app is going to clear it up. So we'll we'll um you'll be able to see the whole video on my main channel. I am you in or indigenous. Race. You see it saying it's on the screen. It'll be clear. It won't glitch or nothing. I talked about a lot, but I only talked about a little bit. I talked about a lot, but I only spoke on a little bit. But it's peace, you all, and just know that these niggas is leading us into straight destruction. These niggas is leading us into hell. I'm telling you, these these males aren't males on the internet, but it's not their fault. It's not their fault, and they don't know that they're not males. It's the it's the hormones inside of their food. They're pumped with too much hormones. The chicken, the beef, the pork, everything is pumped with hormones to get it to go from a baby animal to a huge animal in 0 to 60. I go 0 to 100 real quick, real quick, real quick, real fucking quick. Peace, you all. This is America. That dope got y'all tripping up. I am you Indian. This is Black Indian Chief. I love you all. Peace, higher powers. 
Hey, hey, hey. Like for real. Wake the fuck up. I love you all. I love myself. Peace.